Wiley, let me know when you're recording. We're the two best friends that anyone could have. We're the two best friends that anyone could have. Yeah. Scoby, how many cigarettes do you smoke on this trip? Um, about None. a pack. None? About a pack. Nice. That's disgusting. And uh, Jason, how many coffee enemas did you have on this trip? This evening makes six. A full colon cleansing, high pressure. That's gonna take some getting used to. And the dot has to be so bright that you never look for it. Yeah. If you understand. Yeah, of course. So you need to go back with yeah. the focus. All this the focus on the, on the target. We will see. Cool. Should be interesting. Enjoy. <laughs> be really quiet when we walk now because the birds are been hunted before. So they will flash you if you talk too much. So be really, really quiet. You will get a peg. You're posted, I will just point you in the direction where you, uh, where the birds are coming from. Man, I can't even remember my first duck hunt. I used to do, I used to do so much of it. I used to just, you know, wake up and drive up to like places in Millbrook, New York, where I'd swamp, and then I'd, you know, I'd be back by lunchtime so I could get in a tree stand to hunt, you know, sure. bow hunt deer and stuff like that. And so I was duck hunting mornings, bow hunting afternoons. I did that every day of every weekend of the season. through the wall. Oh, that's always fun. Cheers. Thank you. Anyway. There's a lot in here. <laughs> These are actually pretty good. I shot at least 20, I'd say, yeah. I mean, I had a couple pretty good, you know, passing over the, you know, long crossers that were pretty nice and... <laughs> yeah, there were a couple, there were a couple good ones in there, but a lot, a lot of them were that, that gimme bird coming right at you. It's just like, just get over the head and just... Oh. Ahead of me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, he, he got something. <laughs> some, some things. Or he likes to sit on his hand until it goes to sleep. And then do it? Yeah, it's called the stranger. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna do a partridge hunt. Uh, we're gonna hunt over some pointers and then uh, some spaniels. They just did the, um, the safety brief. I uh, forgot rule number one, which is uh, I'm always number one. They kind of offered us our choice of guns. I chose a uh, Beretta 686 12 gauge because I've done a lot of shooting with the 686, so it's um, real familiar to me. Uh, what's not familiar to me is the aim point on the shotgun. So um, we duck hunted with these yesterday and got used to it and went, I think, six for six with it after I got used to it. So a little bit different, but it's also pretty cool.
The bird stuff is fun because it's um, it's action. You know, it's it, it keeps you entertained. Um, you get to watch other people do some shooting, and um, yeah, it's just more of a high volume thing than what what you've already seen us doing over here. Good job, Mike. To me, Sweden's a place that I will always go back and hunt, you know, for any species, whether that's a, a duck hunt or an upland bird hunt or red stag or a driven hunt. I mean, red stag are amazing. I mean, they essentially are the world's elk. They're really stretched all over, you know, from Sweden, across mainland Europe, all the way into parts of Asia. Damn, <laughs> just get right up in here, those damn spikely angles. Och sen håller du här och går där till du kommer fram till den planen. And we go for age, you know, that's... Yeah. That's an old one. It looks like a shark in the face, like a shark fin. Yeah. And you see the body also like a barrel. Just fat and yeah. droopy neck and yeah, that's great. And those are much, much bigger than the normal European in, body yeah. wise. You see another thing. This is, this is here where we hunted yesterday. Yeah. You see the eyes? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a really nice one. That's a bit of a nice style, yeah. These red stag were easily the hardest I've ever hunted. They would not appear out of that dense Swedish forest until five minutes of shooting light, you know, I mean, left. And you would just get glimpses of them, you know. And then early morning, you'd go in before dark and pitch black, you'd just see, you know, faint outlines of them in these pastures and fields where they're feeding all night. And just as it starts getting soon, you know, early enough, light enough where you can actually see them, where you could get a shot at one, I mean, they just disappear once again, ghost back into that timber and just stay there all day. They were extremely tough to hunt. So far so good is, you know, putting in some some miles, trying to see what we can find, see if we can pop up on something feeding in one of the valleys and pretty amazing woods though. Just awesome, awesome place. I have found in hunting career that luck is capitalizing on opportunities when they're given and Don can shoot and that is the uh, biggest advantage he knows how to hunt he knows when to make a move on something he knows when it's time to kill something and then more importantly when that crunch time comes of pulling the trigger he knows you know, he can he has the skills to get that done Pulled off the hill, very Where? long shot. <laughs> that was a long shot. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I wanted. I didn't want to shoot a 350 with someone no. else's gun <laughs> that I didn't have a chart for, but I was okay. 
at 300 because I knew that light was pretty rough too for a while. <laughs> Great work. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Glad we made that happen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just in time. Well, people, in time, you get so lucky. I was like, yeah, but not a lot of people go all the way to Sweden for literally two days. Two days. <laughs> not, you know. So, uh, yeah, when I was like this morning, I was like, we got two hours. So I was like, that's not much of a hunt, but we, you know, you definitely don't get anything by sleeping in. It's all about confidence, you know? You know, yeah, you, yeah, only, you only need that. Yeah, no, exactly. That's good. Exactly. So, it's very good. Super psyched.